question is for the Premier. New documents that have been obtained under FOI confirm that the Victorian Labor government is keeping thousands of public homes empty right now in Victoria. A list 89 pages long of vacant properties while 125,000 people wait for a public home. In my electorate, in just one building, I counted 27 apartments, many of them newly renovated, sitting for months and months and some over a year empty. That's 14% of those apartments that no one is living in. And the Productivity Commission reported 6.3% public housing vacancy statewide. Will the Premier explain to the 125,000 people waiting for a place to live why her government is keeping public homes empty in the middle of a housing crisis? Premier. Thank you, Speaker. I thank the member for Richmond for her question. And when it comes to supporting the construction of more public, more social and affordable homes in this state, we are doing everything we can to build more homes. And I would love it. I would love it if just once the member for Richmond stood up in this place and talked about how she would join with us in, uh, in that work to build more public, social and affordable homes. Uh, the Fitzroy Gasworks is a terrific example of where we're wanting to build more homes, but unfortunately, I don't think we're on a unity ticket with the member for Richmond on that one, Speaker. In terms of what she has referred to, the member for Richmond Order. has referred to, um, I will seek some further advice from the Minister for Housing. Of course, the Minister for Housing is very busy at the moment with the $6.3 billion that we've invested through our big housing build to build more public, social and affordable homes, uh, but I will seek some further advice from the Minister for Housing on this matter. Yeah. Member for Richmond on a supplementary question. It's uh, really puzzling that the Premier, in the middle of a housing crisis that she insists is all about supply, is unaware or unable to justify why her, her government hasn't been able to take these empty homes and these people needing a home and put them together. I can think of two possible reasons why. Either this government is incompetent and hasn't, has defunded and deprioritised housing to such an extent that the department can't do its job, or this government is deliberately keeping these homes empty for years and years to make it easier to demolish them without a fight and hand the land over to private developers. Which is it? Um, order, order. Leader of the House has a point of order. A point of order, Speaker, on the question. It is important that questions are factual um, and also they can't be speculative. And I suggest to you um, that that was not a question uh, from the member for Richmond, but it was a uh, rant uh, and it was um, <laughs> that she was making it up as she went along. Um, and so I ask you to ask her to rephrase her question. Member for Paran on the point of order. It was a, it was a very, order. it was a very clear question from the member for Richmond. It may have, it may order. have gone unheard by the members of the government, who again talked all the way through the members for Richmond question, a constant tactic of theirs. But it was a very clear question, outlining and asking for the reasons behind why the government is leaving these houses vacant. And I ask that you uh, rule that uh, point of order from the government out of order. I would ask the member for Richmond to rephrase her question. It was based on a hypothetical. Uh, my question is, is the reason for a 6.3% vacancy rate in state-owned and managed housing, public housing, is it due to inadequate funding, making it impossible for the department to do its job to actually fill those homes, or is it in anticipation of this Victorian Labor government's plan to demolish and privatise that land in order to be able to demolish those buildings empty? Order. Premier. 
Uh, speaker, the answer to the member for Richmond's question is no and no. Um, and can I be really clear? Um, we are proud of the work we are doing to build more public, social and affordable homes in this state. And where from time to time that involves working in partnership with um, investors and developers to build more public, social and affordable homes, we will do Order. so. We Order. will do so. Premier will resume her seat.